welcome my friend. Sharing with you our second yoga stretch sequence for week two of our 30 day yoga front splits journey. You will need your yoga blocks and yoga strap in this sequence today. Don't forget to have your water nearby to replenish your body and I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll begin by extending your right leg long, opposite sole of foot to your inner thigh, hips square over the extended leg, yoga strap in hand, and we're going to wrap it around the ball of your extended foot, foot flexed, toes point up to the sky, your kneecap pointed up to the sky, and go to gently press your heel and your leg down into the mat. Breathe in, lengthen up through your spine, your shoulder heads roll up and back, shoulder blades squeeze in towards your spine. As you exhale, using your strap to hinge forward at your hip. Let go of any desire to touch your foot. We want to focus our attention on not rounding our spine. You can keep a slight bend in your knee. Head to knee pose stretches the spine, your shoulders. And what we are really wanting to focus on here are your hamstrings and groin. Tap into your breath. On your inhalations, find length in your spine. And on your exhalations, hinge forward a little more, letting that heart guide you forward. Slowly rise and set your strap off to the side. We'll lean to the right, shifting your weight into your right hip so you can take your left foot behind you, bringing the top of foot to kiss the mat near your left hip. Your sole of foot will be face up, heel near your hip. Now your left knee is in line with your hip. If this pose feels too intense, you can sit up on a yoga block or a pillow, blanket, bolster, whatever feels best. Now we did this pose in our yin practice on Sunday. So notice how this feels today compared to Sunday. Noticing if your body is more open or if you're experiencing more tightness. Are you able to take the stretch to the next level, deepening it? Sit up tall if you feel sensations here, this is your edge, but if not, lower to your forearms or a bolster or all the way to the mat, wherever you feel a nice stretch sensation. Keep breathing slowly and evenly. Enjoy your breath, my friend. This pose stretches your hip flexors, your quadriceps, also providing a nice internal rotation of your hips. We'll be revisiting various poses that we have done all throughout the 30 days. So really tune into your body and take note if and how it opens over time. The time of day you practice could affect this as well. So as much as it is possible, try to practice the same time each day. If you are reclined, press down in your forearms to make your way up. Shift your weight into your right hip to bring your left foot around out in front of you. We're taking those two stretches to the other side. Bring your right sole foot to your inner thigh, hips square over the extended leg, yoga strap in hand, and we'll wrap it around the ball of the foot. Foot flex, toes to the sky, kneecap to the sky. Gently press your heel and your leg down into the mat, engaging it. Breathe in, lengthen up through your spine, shoulder heads roll up and back. Shoulder blades squeezing in towards your spine. As you exhale, using the yoga straps to help you hinge forward at your hips, letting your heart guide you forward, keeping a nice flat back. You really want to be focused on hinging forward at your hip joint and not your low back. Tap into your breath. On your inhales, find length in your spine. And on your exhales, hinge forward a little more, letting that heart guide you forward. Slowly rise and set your strap off to the side. Lean to the left, shifting your weight into your hip to take your right foot and bring it so your top of foot kisses the mat near your right hip. Sole of foot will be to the sky. Glance forward and make sure your right knee is in line with your hip and use any props needed to help alleviate any pain or discomfort you may be feeling. 
taking whichever variation feels best on this side, sitting up taller, reclining back to your forearms, a bolster, or the mat. Notice how this feels today on this side compared to Sunday. Noticing if your body is more open, noticing any more tightness. Are you able to take the stretch to the next level, deepening it? And maybe you feel a sensation in a different part of the body than you did on Sunday. Keep breathing slowly and evenly, enjoying your breath. If you were reclined, press down your forearms to make your way up. This time, bend into your extended knee, making your way to hands and knees. Line your knees underneath your hip points. Now, I open to the side of the mat, so you can stay right where you are or do the same as I am. From here, we'll take your right sole foot to the mat, off to the side, to the right. Your toes will point towards the short edge of the mat. Rise up and bring your hands to your hips. And then you can start to bend into your right knee, feeling a nice opening in your groin and in your hips. If your knee goes past your ankle, go ahead and inch your foot forward a few inches until the knee is in line with your ankle, so it'll be at a 90 degree angle. And just hold this for a few breath cycles. I always really enjoy this opening here. Press down your right sole of foot to straighten your leg. Lower your fingertips back to the mat, down through center. Bring your right knee back in, lining it underneath your right hip. Take it to the other side, so your left sole of foot off to the mat to the left side. Toes point to the short edge of the mat. Rise up and slowly bend into that left knee. Make sure you glance down to make sure that your knee is not going past your ankle. If it is, quite an inch your foot forward a few inches. And holding here for a few breath cycles. Press into your left sole foot to straighten your leg. Lower your fingertips to the mat, down through center, and bring your left knee back in. If you opened yourself to the side of the mat like I did, go ahead and return to you so you face the short edge of the mat. Then we will step your left foot forward, briefly coming into low lunge, before you bend into your back knee, drawing your, your heel towards your seat as your left arm reaches up and back to clasp the outside edge of your back foot. If you feel any strain or discomfort grasping your foot and keeping your fingertips to the mat, go ahead and use a yoga block to help fill up the space between your right palm and the mat. This can be very helpful and can help you stay broad and open across your chest. Now the back foot energetically presses away while at the same time your hand is gently guiding your foot towards your body. We also want to make sure we keep a generous bend in your front knee. Allow your hips to melt forward into the pose. And don't forget to breathe, my friend. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out. With control, release your back foot and lower it to the mat. Left palm returns to frame your front foot. Go ahead and grab your yoga blocks, using them as an extension of your arms. And we're going to straighten your front leg, shifting your hips back in space, coming into our half split pose. So walk those yoga blocks back with you. Flex your front foot, toes towards your face, kneecaps towards the sky. Slight bend in your knee to help prevent that hyperextension and engage your quadriceps. With yoga blocks in hand, find length in your spine before you exhale to hinge forward. 
keep length in your spine and front and back. 10 deep breaths as you hold. You want to energetically draw your left hip back in space as your right hip reaches forward, helping to square them up. This is another one we have practiced already. You'll notice a trend that in our second yoga stretch sequence each week, they will include the half split pose. So notice how the half split pose feels today compared to the last time we practiced it. And take note so you can continue to notice the small openings that happen with your consistent practice getting really connected in one with your body. Great. From here, we'll step your left foot back so you're on your shins, then lower your fingertips to the mat. We'll step your right leg forward, taking those two poses to the other side. So finding your low lunge to start, then bend into your back knee, drawing your heel towards your seat as your right arm reaches up and back to cross the outside edge of your foot. Remember, you can use your yoga block here to help find length and space. The back foot energetically presses back while at the same time, your hand is gently guiding your foot towards your body. And go ahead and check back in with your front knee to ensure it maintains a generous bend. And then check in with your hips, melting them into the pose. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out. And continuing this conscious breathing. We are focusing on our quadriceps in this pose. It also stretches our groin and hip flexors and our glutes. You may also notice that it does help to improve our balance as well. With control, release your foot back and lower it to the mat. Right palm returns to frame your front foot. Grab your yoga blocks, using them as an extension of your arms once more, and we'll straighten your front leg as we shift our hips back in space for half split pose on the second side. Flex your front toes, kneecap towards the sky, slight bend in your knee, preventing that hyperextension. Engage your quads. With the yoga blocks in hand, find length in your spine. Before you exhale, the hinge forward. Using your yoga blocks helps to keep space in the front and the back of your spine. Energetically scissor your legs. This can also help to square them up. Notice how half split pose feels on this side today compared to the last time we practiced it. This time we will slowly bend back into your front knee, set your blocks off to the side, and step your right knee back to meet the left. And begin to take a few hip circles, just finding what movements feel good in your body. Make your way to easy seat. Beautiful, my friend. Thanks so much for joining me today. That's our 10 minute yoga stretch for the next two days. Replenish your body with those amazing liquid goods. I'll see you again soon. Love and light to you, my friend.